Jay Prince. Let me tell y'all something about Jay Prince, right? That nigga the real deal. Jay, Jay Prince sons is a reflection of their father. Y'all gotta ask yourself a question. Who are we really dealing with when you're dealing with Jay Prince, right? I want y'all to keep in mind, right? Jay Prince sons grew up with a silver spoon in their mouth. Jay Prince sons grew up rich. And them niggas is some cold-blooded killers. That nigga Jay Prince, Jay, Jay Prince Jr.? Nigga got blood on his shoes. Twice. In less than 30 days. Two different bodies. The, ju the jewelry nigga. And one of the hottest Migos. The hottest rappers. Hottest groups, one of the arguably one of the hottest groups ever. The nigga got blood on his shoes, allegedly. But what ain't alleged? What no, actually, allegedly my ass. The hell am I saying allegedly for? The nigga stepped over the nigga body. He stepped in the blood. You ain't see the footage. Allegedly my ass. Nigga stepped over the nigga body. Shorty over the body, like, what am I what, what, what should I do? He took, he took, get the fuck over there. Get away from that nigga. Oh, yeah. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty, right? Because I'm going to give you the perspective everybody else ain't going to give you. Why is Quavo so quiet? Why is Quavo so quiet? Why is Offset so quiet? Huh? Because the reality of it is, the world is a stage. And the reality of it is, that might have been a hit from the home from the, from, from home team. That might have been a sacrifice. We don't know. But what we do know is, ask yourself a question. If you had to sit there and you had to watch your right-hand man take off, get his noodles knocked out of his head. In broad daylight. Actually, it wasn't in broad daylight, but it was in front of everybody. In front of a crowd of people. Nigga grabbed him from the back and blew his nugget out. Knocked his snot, rocked his snot box, turned his TV off, parked his car, shut his engine down, night, night. And didn't even get the mop to mop the blood up. Stepped over him like it was nothing. When you get to turn on the internet and watch your right hand man bleed out like a pig on the floor. What do you do next? What is your next move when you got millions of dollars and you got soldiers at your dispense? Because for me, if I had to watch my brother, one of my brothers laying on the floor like that in front of everybody, ain't nothing to talk about. Jay Prince ain't going to get up on the internet with that stupid ass post sitting up there talking about nephew, nephew. That's how your son treat his cousin, Jay Prince? Hey, Jay Prince, that's how your son, I bet you Jay Prince watching me. Because it's my words that stung him the most. Because all he gave a goddamn about is who recorded the footage. Or, or Wallow, I mean not Wallow, all Gilly gave a goddamn about is who recorded the footage. He ain't have nothing to say about Jay Prince. That's why I would never respect him. You see, Wack 100 don't respect them. Gangsters don't respect Gilly. He the crackhead that finally made it through the door. The door. The what door? The Norris door. The door? I don't know if it's this one or that one. Or we go right. The door. Anytime these people give you a hundred thousand, I mean a hundred million dollar deal, they done bought you. Congratulations. We see your platform. Now we're going to pay you. We're going to make sure that we control your tongue. We're going to make sure that you don't stand for the people. We're going to make sure we control what comes out of your mouth. Pay attention to Quavo. Because I want to see how Quavo is going to deal with this situation. From this point, he's been quiet. Pay attention to how the police is handling this situation. Pay attention. 
There's not one arrest. The first arrest in this case, in this murder case, the first arrest in this murder case should have been Jay Prince Jr. From the footage, from the witness testimony, because we don't know what was said inside the police precinct, but we do know that you got a witness on the line sitting up there telling everybody, listen, the only ones that had guns, according to her, according to that witness, allegedly, was Jay Prince's crew because everybody else was searched. So there's witnesses that are spilling the beans and they're telling you exactly what happened because they saw everything that happened. So now you answer the question, why is it that there hasn't been any arrest made in this case? The first arrest should have been Jay Prince Jr., Because outside of that, something, something just ain't right. Why didn't they arrest Jay Prince Jr.? Why he ain't locked up yet? Why his father ain't there with him yet? It's mob ties, right? Y'all been watching Raising Canaan? You watched the episode of Raising Canaan when the mob dude, his son got murdered? By his friend by accident. And that mob dude said. Well your brother's responsible. Because your brother overstepped me. And sent my son on a mission. So he said just for that. I need your brother's head. That's how the mob do it. Who's coming for J Prince Jr. head. Huh? We the mob right? 